ape has never killed ape. Hey guys, in the next few videos, I want to talk about branding and more specifically streetwear. Something I've been personally interested in being a designer and being a skater. I find this interesting because last year when I was in Hong Kong, was it last year or in the end of 2016 when I was in Hong Kong, I bought my son, my oldest son, a sweatshirt, a bathing ape sweatshirt. At first he wasn't too keen on it, but now he loves, he loves his uh, sweatshirt. So we're gonna talk about a bathing ape to start with. So this is the very first in a series of videos I'm doing together with my son on streetwear or street brands. And so we're gonna start with a bathing ape. When I was living in New York around 1999, 2000 through 2001, we lived in uh, Nolita and that wasn't too far away from Supreme, the skate shop at the time before it got really hyped. But at some point, I guess, uh, at some point we got interested in the Bape. When was Bape? I was first introduced to Bathing Ape, I can't remember when, but I think around 2004. And I think my first piece of Bathing Ape clothing or first thing I bought was in 2005. And it was in London at the time, living in London. <laughs> Let's get into a little history of Bape, or Bathing Ape. It was started in 1993 by a guy named Nigo, or also known as this Japanese name. He studied fashion editing. He started his first store called Nowhere in Tokyo with a friend, Jun Takashi of Undercover. Nigo named his brand a Bathing Ape after the 1968 film, The Planet of the Apes. A planet where man is the lowest order of living things. And the superior beings are apes. The name Bape is also a reference to a bathing ape in lukewarm water. The idea with a bathing ape in lukewarm water has to do with the Japanese and the culture of bathing in really hot water, which is 40 degrees Celsius or 104 degrees Fahrenheit. So this idea of staying in when the water cools off or when it becomes lukewarm, that's basically also the idea of a bathing ape overindulging in something. As like most streetwear, he started doing his own t-shirts. The first few t-shirts he gave to a musician called Cornelius, which I saw in Hamburg at the Logo, a very small venue in, I forgot when, it must have been like 1998. One, two, three, four, five, six. Like a lot of good streetwear, what's interesting with a bathing ape is he does a lot of collaborations with other brands and other companies. Most notably is the Pepsi can, but other brands like what did he who who did he, other brands like Nintendo, G Star, Converse. He works with the graffiti artist Cause, obviously with Pharrell. In 2003, Nigo met Pharrell. And then later on, they started their own label together called Billionaire's Boys Club, or BBC, and Ice Cream. Even today, Nigo is a designer at BBC. So fast forward to 2011, where Nigo decides to sell a bathing ape for 2.8 million US dollars to a Hong Kong-based conglomerate. So the question is, why is bathing ape so relevant? If I think about what makes a great brand enduring, it's basically three things. Number one, it's about being unique. Nigo did that from the very beginning. With his unique perspective on hip hop culture and his obsession with design really made Babe something extremely unique. And you can see that in the iconic camouflage pattern to the collaborations he's done. Number two, and this builds on number one, a great brand is recognizable no matter what context you see it in. So a great brand for me is not just the way something looks or feels, it's the way it works. And the way Nigo set it up where all the product was about scarcity and just having just a few things available made it really work as far as creating the hype around the Bathing Ape brand. And lastly, number three, 
if you have a great vision in the start, like Nigo did, then the brand itself has a better chance of surviving, even when it does get bought and the founder is no longer around. The upside of being sold is Billion Ape is not just about scarcity anymore. It's about being able to buy it pretty much everywhere, whether it's online or in the shops that are around in the bigger cities in the world. What do you like about Bathing Ape? What brands really stick out for you? Let me know below in the comments. If you found this interesting, please subscribe to my channel. And if you love those drawings as much as I do, subscribe to this channel over here. And then additionally, look out for the next videos where I cover other streetwear brands.